special guest that I probably don't really need to introduce. Two guests. First, we have Janet. Thank you. Welcome to the State House. Welcome to Augusta. I like to say, mi casa es su casa. This is your place. This is, uh, you are always welcome here. And I love the message. And I welcome you and your help and your advocacy. We are fighting climate change now. We are not giving up. We're not going to say no to any more. We have got to mitigate further climate change. We've got to mitigate what's happened so far. We're going to look at ocean acidification. We're going to look at the changing lobster habits and, and, and geographical areas. We're going to look at the sea, seafood issues. We know that climate change is happening. There's no reason to question it any longer. We know it when we see the rising asthma rates. We know it when we see the tick infestations in our public parks and our woods all across the state of Maine. We know it when we see the lobsters moving north and east. We know it when we see the shellfish contaminated with acidification. We know it because 50% of our carbon emissions, greenhouse gas emissions are from transportation. We're going to be electrifying vehicles and making, and making sure people have those options. And soon, and we are part of the United States Climate Action Team. Whatever the federal government does or doesn't do, Maine will be in the forefront of addressing climate change. We have to prevent further climate change impacts and mitigate what's already there. And that means electrification generation. That means transportation issues. That means heating, home heating, business heating changing the way we do things. It's gonna take some time, but you know, and we know, that change is gonna come. And that's why later this week, we'll be announcing our bill to establish a climate change council that will include a young member, at least one young member, to join in the conversation and the action to address climate change. It is complex, but we are ready to Give it our best effort, and I know you are too. So, I want to welcome you here to the State House grounds, and I hope you come back and fight for what has to happen next. There's so many things for us to do together. I look forward to working with you in addressing. Oh, I love the signs. I love the signs. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your advocacy. I look forward to working with all of you in this incredibly important issue. Now, I have a special guest, our distinguished member of Congress, Shelly Pingree. Thank you. Aren't we excited to finally have a governor who cares about climate change? Is gonna do it's about time after eight years in Maine of not being able to work on this and move it forward, uh, I'm just so excited to be here with the governor to know that she's going to have a plan uh, to deal with climate change, whether it's making sure we reduce our dependence on fossil fuels, getting more electric cars, uh, retrofitting our buildings, working with agriculture and forestry, everything across this state, and making sure that we are all focused on climate change. And I'm really proud to represent um, the state of Maine in Congress, half of the state of Maine, and I am honored to be working on the climate change issue on all of your behalf. Thank you so much to everybody who begrudgingly took some time off of school, so thank you for giving up a day of school. And I know there are, there are students here from elementary school to college. I see Unity College and Bates College and College of the Atlantic. And we're just really proud of you. I am so proud to have young people who are, who are pushing everyone and saying, you know what? This is our future, and how dare you turn your backs on our future? We cannot do that. So thank you so much. You are our leaders, and I am very proud to represent you. I, uh, I am lucky enough to serve in, uh, in Congress. I serve on the Appropriations Committee, but more importantly, I serve on the Interior Appropriations Committee, which has oversight of the EPA. And as you know, this president has been dismissing the EPA and cutting their budget, has no understanding of how important this is. Boo! And we're going to put that money back. We're holding climate change hearings 
Uh, Congress is off this week, but we've already started talking about reducing our dependence on fossil fuel, about retrofitting buildings. I'm on the Agriculture Appropriations Committee, and we've already had our first committee hearing about how farmers, farmers in states like Maine, can sequester carbon in the soil and be part of the mitigation effort in moving us forward. I was a very early and proud co-sponsor of the Green New Deal. And just this week, we re released our companion plan to talk about agriculture and the Green New Deal. But we are strong supporters, and we are working with our colleagues, and just really excited to finally have a Democratic majority back in the Congress so we can work on these issues again. So I will look forward to continuing to work with all of you. Thank you so much. This is, this is the struggle of all of our lifetimes, and it is all about our future. And no place is affected more than the state of Maine and what's going on in our ocean right now. We are ground central about all this, and we all have to be working hard at it. There is no more time for denying this. This is about our economy. This is about our culture. This is about everything going into the future and our way of life. So I'm, I'm here with all of you, and I'm just so honored to be in your presence. Thank you so much for showing up today. Thank you, Congresswoman, Congresswoman Pingree. Uh, my favorite sign. There is no planet B. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to our wonderful guests, and thank you to everyone who's been standing out here in the.